So this is something that I come across quite often when people have been moving from existing websites to the Shopify platform. Uh, the problem we run into is that they have existing URLs that are out in the world that uh, when people go to them, they get a page not found. Um, this, this can hurt you on your search engines, this can hurt you on your social media. So we want to be able to change those URLs so that they go to the new places so that when users find those links somewhere on the internet, they get to uh, the new updated page. So that's called a 301 redirect. It does two things. One, it redirects the users seamlessly without them knowing that they've been redirected on a page. And the second thing it does is it updates Google to let it know that the page has actually been changed. So they will go and they recrawl the site, they change it to the new, or, new URL and drop the old one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to make those 301 redirects here in Shopify. So if you see here on corenyc.com, they used to have their page slash blog. Now if you go to blog, you end up going to blog slash news. So we need to add a new redirect into the control panel so that anybody that goes to slash blog will get redirected to the new place. So if we go under the admin section in our dashboard, so if we go to navigations, we can see our navigations that we have for our site. And then down at the bottom, we have URL redirects prevent bookmarks and links from previous sites from breaking. So you want to click on add your first URL redirect. So if we click on here, and it asks us for the old path. So we're going to put the old path in as blog, as we saw it was on the demo on the other slide. And then what we're going to do is we're going to redirect it to the new one, which is now blogs slash news. So if we add that URL redirect in, we can see it showing up down below. And then if we go over to slash blog again, we can see it redirects us to a new page. So we can go through and take our Google Analytics and see we can see all the 404 redirects that are, or the 404 errors that we're getting from people going to previous sites and add them into the URL redirects down below so that when customers go there, they seamlessly get put to the new site. Give it a try, see if it works. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below.